Following the attacks in Paris, there are many things that need to be done. Those who've lost loved ones need to mourn. Those who are injured need to recover. And media outlets need your attention. One way to get that would be to publish information about suspects as quickly as possible, which is just what the Italian outlet Sky TG24 did, tweeting this photo out to their million plus followers and linking to an accompanying video. And it's also what this Spanish newspaper has done, putting the face from the picture on their front page today and labeling him one of the terrorists. I've seen a couple other outlets use the photo too. Exciting, right? There's a teeny tiny problem though. In their rush to get this out there, draw people in, get money, they forgot something. Qurans aren't normally that great for taking selfies with. They don't typically come with cameras installed, not to mention everything else that gives this away immediately on first glance. Picture gets spread around social media, what looks like an ISIS-friendly account posts the photo on Telegram. Just report on that uncritically, good enough. This photograph was quickly identified as being of Virender Jabal. Here's the original photo. Look, no Quran, no bomb vest, no anything else. Because I'm familiar with this guy and he's a bit annoying, there is a little touch of Schadenfreude involved here, and I don't think anything bad's gonna come of this for him. But this is some dangerous shit for the media to be doing. This level of negligence in reporting could easily cause harm. Now this video is going to be quite short, but there is one more bit of reporting I wanted to share with you guys. This Photoshop has been covered on BuzzFeed, and believe it or not, they did not fall for it. I think that's earned them some celebration clicks. Their reporter simply wrote about the creation and spread of this hoax image. Someone photoshopped a Sikh man to look like an alleged Paris attacker. A photoshopped image of Verenda Jabal, an outspoken critic of Gamergate, was distributed online as a photo of one of the Paris attackers. How is Gamergate relevant? Is that his profession? Why would they have described him like that in this piece? Well, it turned out that the URL was the key to that secret. If you search for that original title, you can find the piece having been shared as that. And one person who shared it did so via Flipboard, so the preview still has the original title too. While the article includes a note that it was updated, it doesn't specify this. So why would they have ever chosen that title? What does the reporting say about that? He, referring to Virenda, attributed the fake image to supporters of Gamergate Gate, a controversial online movement whose followers he has been sparring on the internet for a year. He briefly left Twitter earlier this year. Not many people can handle that. So this news article in its original form was a look at something people just believed from social media that contained in its headline a factual claim based on what some random guy on Twitter said that they had to change after publication. If something like this gets reported on, it should be simple. It should just be stamped on, reported on accurately, without any further bullshit spilling out of that reporting. An article about a hoax, unless you are a troll yourself, should be the end of the line, not a gateway into twice as much trash. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.